Okay, I want to take just a little moment here to do a little bit of housekeeping. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, I want to rename this Patriot. Just double click on it. Type in Patriot. Very simple. Now, the next thing I want to do is to duplicate this border. All right, and the reason I'm going to duplicate this border is to put another border, this time above George's head. All right, very simple. Go to the Layers palette, unlock this background layer, open up the background layer, select this path, and before we duplicate it, let's make another layer right here above George. And whenever you make a new layer, what it's going to do when you click on this button right here, which is add a new layer, it's going to add it right above the layer you have highlighted. And that's why I highlighted George before I clicked on that. Let's rename it Top Border, Top Border, okay. And then with this bottom background layer selected, with this path selected right here, click on it, hold down the Alt key, drag it up to this new layer we just made. That duplicates that path. Let me close that. We'll open this up now. Now what I want to do, with that path selected, I want to get rid of any fill. So there is just the border. And you can see now there's a new border above George. All right. I'm going to hit the Tab key twice to reset my palettes. I'm going to hit Control-0 to zoom out. And there you go. Now we're going to move on and talk about blend modes. And my goal with this uh, next little lesson is to allow us to see through the Patriot layer and see some of George. And we can accomplish that easily with blend modes. Let me show you. Let me open up the palette, uh, the layers palette. Let me select the Patriot layer. Let me go to the transparency palette now with the Patriot layer selected, and let me hit Control H. You can see it's selected. I just have the selection outlines hidden. I'm going to select Control H again. And once again, hidden. Now I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply. And you can see when I do that, you can see right through. It's, it's reacting now with the layers beneath it, okay? And since George and the background layer are beneath it, it's reacting with those. You can try different uh, combinations here. Pick the one you like the best. Okay. There's a lot of different wild things. Okay. I like multiply or maybe color burn. That lightens up this blue a little bit. Hmm. It's a tough choice, isn't it, folks? Let's see what it does to George here. Let's move him down here a little bit. There he is with color burn. You see color burn affects these blacks, this black stroke a little bit more, whereas multiply does not affect the blacks at all, just the lighter colors. So I think I'm going to stick with that, use the multiply blend mode. Let me fit the banner back to screen, hit tab twice to reset our palettes, and there you have it, a quick lesson on blend mo modes. You can play with those all day and uh, discover a lot of different things with it, have a lot of fun with it. And we are going to revisit that as we create a new layer for this, and we'll do that in the very next lesson.